All right, folks, welcome to what I consider to be three of the best examples of Champions of Chime. Let's take a closer look. All right, folks, Jack here from Peach Guitars. I started with quite a grandiose term there, champions of chime. I wanted to kind of embody what I think this type of guitar does best, and I want to use that elusive word chime to try and nail down exactly what that sound is. So to me anyway, when I think of the word chime, I think of what most guitar players think of, which is those really nice extended upper harmonics. It's something that we associate with a lot of different types of guitars, as well as different types of amps, and really it's the overall package of the sound that makes that sound happen. And it really is just a lot about cancelling some of the lower frequencies and boosting the highs. And you hear it a lot referred to old Vox amps of the early 60s, early mid 60s. Um, but I also think that certain guitars just inherently have that quality as well. So I've picked three here that kind of fit that bill, but they all do it in a different way. Now I started out with this, the Fender Jazzmaster, which to me anyway, is one of the very best proponents of this musical quality. I think it's got such a beautiful high harmonic range that not a lot of other guitars, especially guitars from Fender, can really compete with. I think the closest thing is probably the Telecaster, but I want to move in a slightly different direction, introduce a vibrato unit, a tremolo unit for one as well. That's all part of the magic of this sound. It's getting that movement and getting that extra detail in the top end that I think the Jazzmaster does better than anything else from the Fender camp. Now we're also going to pit it against a couple of guitars that once again fit this bill but do it in a different way, do it in their own way if you like. The other big name that most people associate with the chimey sound, especially going back to the early days in the 60s, would be the Gretsch sound. Now rather than go for a full hollow bodied Gretsch, I've gone for the semi-hollow Broadcaster Junior which has got plenty of its own merits and brings something different to the chime table. And then lastly from our friends at Duesenberg, I've got the Starplayer TV phonic model. So this is a very, very cool looking guitar. Under the hood it's got their same Domino P90 and wide range humbucking pickup, but with the very cool gold foil aesthetic. So it just makes it look a little bit more classic. And there's also an added fourth position switch uh, on the pickup selection switch. So it gives you an extra tonal option. I'm sticking though for all these guitars pretty much to just the bridge position to get the maximum high end sparkle. So once again, as this tone is all about kind of exploring the high treble frequencies, I've cranked up the cut and treble controls on this Dr. Z Maz 18 amplifier. So I'm really working the EL84 power section in this amp and I'm supplementing it just with a Keeley Mag Echo on the floor, which is providing a little bit of sort of ambient delay. And when you hear some overdrive, that's coming from a King Tone Duelist pedal as well. So really simple setup. It's really just about exploring what these guitars have to offer. And you're gonna hear a lot of ringing open strings you're gonna hear a lot of big chords and a lot of single note lines that to me anyway, embody the best chimey qualities of all three of these guitars. So let's take a closer listen. All right, so kicking things off then, this Jazzmaster, this is a custom shop, 65 journeyman aged Jazzmaster in Olympic white with hand wound Jazzmaster pickups. If you're a Jazzmaster fan, you kind of know the drill. Um, you know how these things sound. Not only do they have that extended high frequency range that I was talking about earlier, but they also have this really nice mellow quality, which I'm not really exploring here today, but I think there's a number of reasons that you could legitimately use a Jazzmaster as your primary go-to guitar. They're so comfortable when you spend a little bit of time and just get used to the feel of these things, uh, as well as how the electronics operate. There's a huge range of tones to be had. It's very comfortable to play all manner of styles, but naturally 
they kind of sound their best when you're going for those chimey, surfy kind of sounds. Um, like I said, I'm not using the rhythm circuit, which explores some of this guitar's jazzier sides, which is where it originally gets its name. I'm just going for the all-out treble sound of the bridge pickup. You're also going to hear a little bit of clean tone with the in-between sound too. This though, I think in terms of examples of custom shop jazz masters or modern day jazz masters, this is one of the very best that I've tried. It's just got all the elements that I like out of a jazz master. It pairs up with a Brit style amp like this perfectly. And when you throw a little bit of delay and a bit of distortion on as well, then this turns into an absolute anarchic beast. That's all I can, all I can really say about it. It does a lot of stuff very, very well, but you can be the judge as to whether you think this is a great proponent of the chimey sound. Right then, so guitar number two, as I said, mixes things up, does the chimey thing in its own way. This is Gretsch's Broadcaster Junior. This is a different take on the traditional Gretsch sound, so it's semi-hollow construction for one thing. Um, you've got the Fultron pickups in here, which I think, as the name implies, has a bit more of a full range sound compared to something like a Filtertron or an earlier Gretsch tone. Now, it would have been easy to go with one of those, but I wanted to stick with the body construction being largely the same. Obviously, the Jazzmaster is different, but I wanted to kind of stick with this semi-hollow thing because I think this gives you the best of all worlds. It still gives you the chimey open sound, but it allows you to push on and get some more distorted tones a little bit easier without the worry of unwanted feedback as well. So in terms of kind of being a Gretsch that does pretty much everything, the Broadcaster Junior is in with a good shout. You've got the traditional Bigsby on here as well, which is quintessentially Gretsch, and it's a very, very big part of this sound. Once again, just getting that wiggle especially on the open strings when you play some nice big open chords. Locking tuners on this guitar as well, so there's a few more sort of modern features here. No hum from the humbucking pickups as well, so it's kind of combining the best of old school Gretsch with what they've come on to pioneer in modern day music as well. And when it comes to that chimey sound, I think the Gretsch legacy is always going to have a very large foot in the game in terms of offering you that higher frequency content that most people look for, but in the case of this Broadcast Junior, you can do so much more with it once again. It responds particularly well to higher gain sounds as well, I think. It's got the highest output pickups of the three. So maybe if you want uh, a slightly more modern sound, this may be the better option of the three, that you can rest assured that it is a Gretsch and it will still deliver 
on its classic promises too. <laughs> Okay then, so last, but as usual, no means least, is the Duesenberg Star Player TV. This is a brand that's really grown on me, in fact. Over the time that I've got to play these guitars, their personality has really, really come through. And this was actually kind of the initial spark that this chime concept came from, was the Duesenberg guitar. I kind of thought, it's one of the things they do best. But once again, you know, as with everything else here I'm showing you, chime is at the forefront, but it does a lot of other things very, very well. So this particular model is the Phonic, they call it, um, which is basically just, as far as I understand it, more or less an aesthetic difference over the regular Star Player TV. It's got the same Domino P90 and the grand vintage humbucking pickup in the bridge, but once again with these very cool gold foil pickups, it just kind of gives it a totally different, more classic aesthetic to the regular Star Player TV. But tonally, it's very much aligned with the rest of Duesenberg's output. This is your pickup selector and you've got four way pickup selection here. So I think you probably get some series and parallel options when you're in between. I've stuck mostly to the bridge sound as well as my favorite sound on these guitars, which is that parallel in between sound of the two pickups, which just gives this very cool hollow quality and it kind of subdues the chime a little bit. It's not so bright and in your face, but it's very mellow. It's very kind of honky in the mid range in a nice way and it just means that ambient chords really ring out in a very, very pleasant way that I don't think any other kind of production guitar that I've played in a long, long time anyway does in quite the same way. You've got Duesenberg's own take on the classic Bigsby style bridge here, so you get that same wiggle if you want it. Semi-hollow construction, once again, this is a very cool sort of all blacked out version, so it's quite stealthy in terms of its aesthetic. The necks on these guitars are very comfortable. They're kind of, in between like a classic Gibson feel, um, but with a slimmer profile. So again, it feels a little bit more modern if that's, your, if that's your preference. Quite similar to the Gretsch in a number of ways, but tonally speaking, I think with those four different options on the pickup selector switch, the combination of a P90 and a humbucking pickup just gives you probably the widest range of tones overall. And if you want to stick to that classic chimey thing that we're talking about today, this guitar can hang with the very best of them.
Alright folks, I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Champions of Chime. There are many, many other guitars I could have touched on with this subject. A Telecaster, as I said in the introduction, is one of the very best guitars if you want that open chimey thing. But I wanted to do it a little bit differently and show you some different options as to just what, is, what else is available out there. And I think I've got three of the best examples here. If you want a classic tone that can veer into modern territory, which is kind of the way a lot of modern music has gone anyway, it takes a lot from, this, from the past, just contemporizes it a little bit, if you like. Um, these guitars all do a great job of fulfilling those tonal needs. So if that's something that you've been looking for, check out the links in the description below for each of these three guitars. And make sure you let me know in the comments as well whether you prefer the Jazzmaster, the Duesenberg, or the Gretsch in this particular example today. Contemporizes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.